Angela Fox. So today I wanted to talk about the clan boss team that I've been running. I get this question a lot about trying to make unkillables. And so what I decided to do is I want to do something a little bit different, a little bit more creative. So I went with a speed lead unkillable, which you can see right here is Mother Superior, two man eaters, a seeker and a pain keeper. You also see that my friend Sith Viking, who's actually Techno Viking, he's also a content creator for Raid. I'll make sure that I link his YouTube down below. Make sure you check him out. Initially, this the speed lead experiment idea, Techno started it with Battle Sage, and Battle Sage has a 20% speed lead. And when I saw the video he was doing, and on top of talking with him and also our friend HG Sunday, where HG was talking about Fushan as a speed lead, I went through my roster to see who I had available. So we're gonna go take a look at my roster. Some of the big things that matter is you need someone that has a speed lead in all battles and you need someone whose skills don't affect turn meters. So for example, somebody like Haikatoon, she's not a good option because she does have an ability that affects the turn meter. So if we look at Haikatoon, while her aura is ally speed in all battles by 19%, Rally the Horde fills the turn meter of all allies by 15 and it throws the speeds off. So she isn't really a good option. Some other really good champs that I have that are speed leads, like we have Kaimar, he's great, except he's arena only. Obviously we have Arbiter, but you know, same thing, she's arena only. So that takes these guys out. We do also have Spirit Host, but Spirit Host is a 10%. Whereas when we look at Mother Superior, she is a 13% speed lead in all battles. And pretty much her abilities are just continuous heals and shields. Nothing here affects the turn meter. Nothing here is going to affect the speeds for this kind of comp. So the team we have is Mother Superior. And for her speeds, again, she has she's running at a 13% speed lead. So for her with gear, just like the gear speed stats we want to add in is about 104 to 110. Now where these numbers are coming from, again, it was a bunch of fun and sciencing with my friend Techno that I had mentioned. So he went through, did some sciencing with the numbers, and this is what he came back with, is that if it's going to be Mother Superior at a 13% speed lead, the gear speed has to be about 100 between 104 and 110 okay her speed is a 210 again she's the slowest in the comp she's primarily for her speed lead is why she is here and here is her masteries now what's really nice about also having mother superior is bringing her in not only does her speed lead for all battles she also does some heals and her increased heals also gives a higher chance for more counter attacks from the retribution masteries that we have, which can also add in some more damage on top of the toxic sets that we have, a toxic set on herself and a toxic set on Painkeeper. But that's also what's been kind of a nice benefit of adding her in. Then we also have our man eaters. And as you see, we have two man eaters. Now the fast man eater his gear has to be at 155 plus for speed, which is what we have here. We got this guy at 155. And the slower man eater has to be between 129 and 136. And you'll see he's at 131. For my fast man eater, he's at 253. Again, that's total, right? That's between the base and the requirements on the gear ends up being 253. And here's his masteries. Here's his masteries. The slow man eater, here's my slow man eater. His total speed's at 229. And here's his masteries. Then we also have Seeker. Seeker's speed, just gear again, has to be between 133 and 141. So you see he's at 134. So for Seeker, Seeker's total speed is a 237. And here's his masteries. And then the last one I have here is Painkeeper. She's supposed to be between 124, 142, and she's at 126. Her total speed right now is 228. And here's her masteries. 
But what's important is that she she goes after Seeker. So the order ends up going is Fast Man Eater, Seeker, Painkeeper, Slow Man Eater, and then Mother Superior. And then that's kind of the order. Now we're also going to notice is that I've been able to build up this team so far that we do have toxic gear on them. Again, you're probably watching this and you're like, wait, there's no DPS in here. And you're right, it's not, there is necessarily a DPS slot where Mother Superior is because this is a, a speed lead build. It's a little bit different than probably some of the other ones that we've seen. So to help try to compensate that and try to get damage in there, we look at toxic sets and that's what we have is right now at the time of my filming this is we have a toxic gear set on Mother Superior and I was able to get one on Painkeeper. My my goal is to continue to improve on this and even probably get some on some of the other champs as well to keep continuing to increase that. So now how much damage have I been able to do so far? So the first time I tried running this on killable when I didn't have any toxic gear on, I want to say they did about 17 mil in Nightmare. Okay, they did about 17 mil in Nightmare. Then when I started adding toxic gear, when I got two toxic sets, that's when I changed from Nightmare into Ultra Nightmare. And in Ultra Nightmare, having the two toxic sets so far, they do between 18 mil and 21 mil per key. So what we're going to do is you're going to see the first run we did today was 18.59. They run usually between 18 and 21 mil. So we're going to hop on in. I will show you guys the the sequence because you really only manual the first nine and then we'll see how that looks and how they do in the end. Why did I go with this team? That's a really good question. So I get this question a lot is why did I try it? Why did I decide to go with a speed lead type one? So what initially got me to go with a speed lead is I was watching, I forgot who I was. I was watching a streamer, I was watching a YouTuber and they showed their, their clan boss. They showed the Ultra Nightmare clan boss team and I kid you not, everybody had the same comp. Everybody, everybody. And when I saw that, I was like, huh, you know, got me thinking. And then also, you know, you, you talk with Dead with Jedi, like you, you talk with other people and there are so many more ways to just try different things and be creative. So when Takano decided that he was gonna go with the, the speed lead and give it a shot with Battle Sage, he and I talked about it for a while. So he ran it with Battle Sage, he was having fun with it. So I was like, you know what? I think to have some fun with it and try to do something different than what everybody else is doing is we're gonna go with a speed lead one. We're gonna make it different. And so that's why we decided to go with Mother Superior. So the first nine turns have to be manual and then you can kind of just set it off on auto. The first man eater, we're going to go with the A3 for the unkillable. Seeker is gonna go A1. Painkeeper is going to go A3. Man eater is going to go with his A2. And then mom is just going to attack with her A1. Clan boss takes a turn, so we do four more moves here, and then we kind of just auto. So from here, Man Eater can just A1. Seeker is going to do both an A2 and an A1. Painkeeper is going to do her A2, which is spectacular sweep. And then from here, we hit auto. And we're going to let them run and see how much damage they do this turn. Yeah, I mean, there's a couple different reasons too, right? Another thing that's nice with something like a speed lead is it's different. It's different than what everybody else is doing. But also having a speed lead means your gear speed requirements decreases. So if you're struggling with meeting the speed requirements, having a speed lead in there does drop it down a little bit. So now Mother Superior only has a 13% speed lead, which isn't huge, but you do have other ones that have higher. Like I mentioned, Techno tried Battle Sage has 20. And talking with Techno and HG, like, you know, we talk about Fu Shan would be really, really nice too. I just don't have him. So there's a couple different things you can try, and I'm sure they're not the only ones. It's just you need to find somebody that has a speed lead for all battles. 
and that their abilities do not affect the turn meters. That's really important. They don't affect cooldowns, they don't affect turn meters, because doing that kind of messes up, messes up the comp. Okay guys, so this run ended at 18 and a half mil damage for one key. So with this comp, I've really only been running this for maybe four to five days. But like I said, the one time that I was able to equip both champs, both Mother Superior and Painkeeper with toxic sets, I immediately was able to go into Ultra Nightmare and every day we've been able to get the top chest. So it's something different, it's something fun. And this is the team that we're running. So I would love to hear what clan boss team you're running. Are you trying something creative? That's one of the things I like is that there's so many fun things, different things you could try to do. And I would love to know in the comments below, let me know what you're running. If you're running a different unique type of unkillable, I would love to hear it.